Okay, now um, in order to fix the issues with um, having the circle not come up with the IK handle uh, and the top moving in a very odd way, we're going to use a point constraint. Uh, the point constraint is used to fix both of these issues but for different reasons. Uh, the point constraint basically keeps um, the uh, constrained object uh, and the target object to the same point. So here I'm going to click on the uh, nerve circle which controls the foot orientation and I'm going to click on the IK handle. I'm going to go to constraint point uh, the little red uh, well the little rectangle make sure maintain offset um, and constraint axes are uh, both checked to all and are checked add and here is uh, the first um, power of the point constraint in that now the eye handle is constrained to the position of the circle so now I only have to move the circle in order to move the IK. I don't have to actually click on the IK anymore. For the head, I uh, select the circle which encapsulates the head, click on the joint, constrain, and point. Now when I move the uh, the, the foot up, all the bones stay in the correct um, orientation and they don't move. This is because now the joint here is following the, um, the position of the circle over here. And this also gives us a few other things in that now we can move the head in whichever way we want. We would still want to move uh, the hip at the moment as so. Now, at this point, we have um, we have point constraints, we have orient constraints, we have many different constraints which do different things, and even right now, the what we have isn't completely serviceable in that uh, there are still a few problems which can be fixed. Uh, currently we simply have been making more circles which uh, constrain different uh, joints to a certain orientation, a certain position, and so forth. The layout node that we made uh, should house um, the other NURB circles as the parent to them. So I'm just going to select both of these and just drag them into the NURB, uh, the first NURB circle. So now, moving the layout node moves everything else. Moving the NURB circle for the foot controls the uh, the uh, IK handle on the heel and moving the head uh, circle, move the head and rotation and such. Okay, so all that is good. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about um, now that we've gotten this character kind of rigged, um, are a few more finer details, such as the knee. So whenever I move the IK handle up, the knee will always uh, point in a certain direction. Perhaps we want the knee to bend in a certain way. In that case, we want to select the IK handle uh, for the leg. Uh, double click or um, 
on the join tool or click on the um, the tool editor and uh, you see that uh, the IK handle has a few options. Uh, right now, uh, how the position of the knee and rotation are uh, um, calculated is simply uh, by a implicit uh, pole vector. Uh, the pole vector simply uh, defines which direction the uh, knee will point in, or rather what all the bones in between the starting uh, joint and the IK handle um, is. Uh, since we want to control it, we want to have uh, some way to control this pole vector. So one uh, thing we can do is create another object, uh, hopefully another non-intrusive object like a circle. Uh, in this case, we can use a locator, which you can just see right here, which I'm just going to make and line it up with the knee. And this uh, locator is simply an object which um, doesn't really get rendered. Uh, it's just there to help you uh, make uh, connections to different objects, such as constraints. So what you want to do um, is essentially make a, a connection from the pole vector of the IK handle to this, this locator. So you want to select the locator first. This is the position of uh, where the uh, knee is going to point. Select the IK handle, constrain, and go down to pole vector. Now you see this line coming from the hip, uh, from the root joint, um, t uh, and you see the the you see things being highlighted from the IK. Now the IK handle will follow the pole vector coordinates of this locator instead of the implicit uh, pole vector uh, that's made when you create the IK handle. So now when you move the locator the knee joint moves with it. And that's exactly what we want. We want to be able to control uh, where the knee points. If you uh, move up the foot, the it will always fo now follow the orientation, the, the rotation of the locator. Just another tool for you to use. And one that's important for uh, things, especially um, legs, in that you want the legs to, um, to bend in a certain way. So right now, as it is, this, this character is essentially ready um, to be skinned and animated.